Hi, I'm Eric from the HI EMIM Africa Opportunities Fund. I want to give you the update on May. The fund was down 1%, which isn't great. It was a lot better than the index, which was down 6.5%, and also the South African market, which was down 6.6%. Obviously, in a difficult market, our long positions lost a bit of money, but we did also have positive contributions from Nigerian and Egyptian T-bills. Obviously, also our short portfolio did well this month. During the month, we continue to reduce our positioning. Uh, we reduced our bond portfolio from 55% of the fund down to 28. A lot of that was in Egypt where we had two T-bills mature and uh, we did not reinvest the money. <clears throat> we also sold all of our bonds in Ghana. We still have bonds left in Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, and a little bit left in Egypt. In the equity portfolio, we also continue to reduce exposure. We went from about 55% gross and 20% net long at the end of last month. We reduced that to 34% gross and a 13% net short position. So this is a pretty big change over two months from aggressively long to now very liquid, very defensive with a small net short position in the equity portfolio. And um, I think there's a few thing, reasons behind that. At the beginning of the year, there was a very oversold opportunity. Sentiment was negative. Valuations were attractive. We really wanted to hit that and try and make money. And so we positioned aggressively long uh, at the beginning of the year, which has been good for performance. But as we move through the year, we keep reassessing fundamentals and earnings estimates. We kept seeing more downside than market expectations. And this continued to make us think that actually the opportunity was more on the short side rather than the long. This was especially the case in South Africa, where analysts continue to be too optimistic about a turnaround in South Africa, which we think will eventually happen, but it's going to take a while. In the meantime, things are very bad and actually continue to get a little bit worse. And so that's why we stuck through our short positions and they actually helped us a lot, a lot in May. We've also had to review our longstanding bullish view on the commodity space. We've been long commodity stocks for about two years, <clears throat> but as we continue to review our earnings estimates, we saw actually started to see downside to expectations. We were surprised by the commodity sell-off at the end of last year and unimpressed with the bounce that we saw in 2019. We thought copper would have done a lot better with the combination of a Fed pause and aggressive Chinese stimulus, but the balance was un un underwhelming. And so we actually started to see short opportunities in oil exploration companies, mining, and chemicals. And so we added to those, and it was a bit helpful for the month. So where do we go from here? Um, things appear to be deteriorating uh, quite rapidly, and um, it's hard to know where we're going. But we've positioned the fund very defensively with a lot of cash and um, we're trying to find we'll be looking uh, very closely for another oversold opportunity to uh, get long again um, and try and make some more money. Um, also, just to say this month we transitioned the fund from Principia as the sub investment manager to Duet Group. The Duet Group is also in London. I'm still managing the fund. But I'm part of a bigger firm, uh, which has a longstanding expertise investing in Africa, both in public equities and in private. So I think with the bigger group, uh, should be good for research and good, should be good for the performance of the fund. Thank you very much.